The Royal Grey Restaurant at Cannes Hotel Grey d'Albion, where the famous chef Jacques Chibois is in command. Aujourd'hui, nous allons vous faire. Today, he's going to demonstrate for us a delicious combination of haddock with a salad. It sounds simple, and indeed it is very light and fresh. But if that's all you think it is, watch this space, because it's also seriously delicious and contains, like all Jacques Chibois' recipes. The smells and tastes of Provence and the warmth of the Mediterranean sun. You start by removing the skin from the haddock. Of course, you could get your fishmonger to do this for you, but frankly, that's cheating, because you haven't lived until you've skinned a haddock. Then, starting from the tail, you slice off a few slanting cuts of the fish. Then, lightly, and I do mean lightly, the fish is sautéed in olive oil, and will be combined with a salad to make a wonderful dish. Now for the vegetables. First, the courgettes or zucchini. They are cut into lengths of about two to three inches, then finely sliced, either with a mandolin, as here, or with a knife. Then the tomatoes. Of course, it helps if you have wonderful, great bruises like these, which have been soaking up the Provencal sunshine, and taste, frankly, scrumptious. Those flabby old things from the supermarket are really no substitute. Take off the skins by plunging them into boiling water for a few seconds, and then cooling them rapidly. Jacques Chibois uses iced water. It's all a very rude shock to a young tomato, and after it, the skin slips off as easily as anything. Like all the great chefs, Jacques Chibois is careful to remove the seeds, which would spoil the texture of this wonderful dish. Incidentally, those hands, which make it all look so easy, belong to one of the most sought-after chefs in France, and the Royal Grey Restaurant, where he presides, has received the maximum accolade of three Michelin stars. Meanwhile, it's back to those courgettes. They're dipped into salted boiling water for about three minutes. And then it's the iced water for them, just like the tomato. It's rather like a Finnish sauna without the birch twigs. Next, olives. Prime local ones, of course. Jacques Chibois is fanatical about freshness and a great ambassador for the tastes and smells of Provence. Once the olives have had their stones removed with this natty little gadget, they are finely chopped. Sheer artistry. The vinaigrette for this salad is simplicity itself. The juice of half a lemon, freshly picked, of course. Black pepper, salt, and olive oil. That wonderful local olive oil, of course. It looks so easy, but then a star always makes it look easy. And Jacques Chibois really is a star chef. Only a few days earlier, he'd been jetted off to California by a certain well-known movie star, who wishes to remain anonymous. There, he prepared an intimate candlelit dinner, over which our anonymous star could propose to his girlfriend. Her answer is not yet revealed, but what girl could resist? Back to reality. And more of that marvelous oil to cook the fish this time. While it's getting up to temperature, it's time to salt and pepper the fish. Leaving the fish to stand for a moment, Jack prepares a plate on which to serve it. He starts with a layer of what the French call popier. It's like watercress, but rather more delicate. And of course, you could substitute watercress if you really had to. 
Donc on met ça un peu en folie. On emballe on également la poivrée. Et la salée un tout petit peu. To this he adds the courgette. Arranged quite casually. This isn't a dish which suits a very formal presentation. It's just one to savor and enjoy. Then he adds some of the prepared olives. The delicious Provençal tomatoes are seasoned and dressed with the vinaigrette. Également, ajouter la vinaigrette. And some vinaigrette for the salad as well. And now, all's ready to cook the slices of fish. They don't look much, do they? I wonder what he's going to do with the rest of that soaking great haddock. Actually, they'll only be in the pan for a few moments. Just time to arrange some dill on the salad. And in no time at all, the fish is cooked. It's ready to join that salad on the plate. Makes your mouth water, doesn't it? It's really important not to overcook the fish. If you do, the taste suffers, and it's much less good for you. And that's something Jacques Chibois cares passionately about. He's France's leading expert in the preparation of gourmet food for the health and diet conscious. Perhaps that's the reason he's frequently asked to write for well-known glossy magazines like Elle and Marie Claire. Now for the finishing touches. The tomato. The chopped olives. And finally, some extra pieces of dill are sprinkled over the top. It all looks absolutely casual, doesn't it? But just like some elaborate hairstyles, it takes years of practice. The finished dish. I can only say this haddock did not die in vain.